Funding for this program is brought to you by Alpha Natural Resources. We fuel progress around the world. We do this through the energy of our people. Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. On the web at camc.org backslash kids to learn more about the 5210 initiative to keep kids healthy. And by the West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working every day with physicians and the entire healthcare community to improve public health. The West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, physicians insuring physicians. For more information, visit us online at www.wvmic.com. Oh, hi boys and girls. I'm so excited today because we're having a party to celebrate the opening of our new magic shop. We've invited all of our friends and that includes you. Joey and the rest of the gang each have their chores to do. I was just gonna hang these balloons. Say like, oh yes Joey. Can you help me make the salad? Sure, as soon as I hang these balloons. Come on, I'll show you around. Hi, Joey. Oh, hi, Mike. You startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Say, this looks like it's going to be a nice salad. Oh, yes, it's very nutritious. That's true. You know, vegetables are very good for you. Yeah, they have lots of vitamins and other nutrients. Oh, that's good to keep us healthy. Yeah. What do you want me to do here with the salad? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, how about if I read the instructions and you make the salad? Okay, that's good. All right, good. Let's see. Oh, first thing you need is a head of lettuce. Oh, yeah, I have one right here. Take a look at this. A head of lettuce. I, oh, Joey. <laughs> I think they meant for you to cut it up. Oh, yeah, I know. I was just kidding. Okay, I got some over here. All right, let me put this out of your way. There we are. Oh, not sure there. Yes. Now, let's see. Oh, the next thing you need are the carrots. Here, take the carrots and put them in. Okay, carrot clunk like that. Yes, okay. Oh, and the next thing are olives. Oh, I like olives. These are good. Uh, Kerplunk. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, and I have some broccoli and some peppers. They're very good. Oh, yeah, that's good. Kerplunkin. Okay, that's going to be a very nice salad. Yeah. Oh, and I have the tomatoes now. Oh, yeah, the tomatoes. Uh, Kerplunk and Kerplunk. There we go. Shall we? I think they meant for you to cut up the tomatoes. Oh, well, close enough. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, now the next thing to do is to toss the salad. Okay, I'll, uh, what did you say? I said to toss the salad. Toss the salad? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, toss the salad. Yeah, but, uh, toss the salad. 
Okay. Cha cha cha. Yeah, wait, Mo Joey, what are you doing? Well, you said to toss the salad, so I'm tossing the salad. Oh, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, really, that's true. Yeah. I, <laughs> hi, Mike. Hi, kids. Oh, hi, Daisy. Hey, Daisy. This is Daisy. She owns the garden shop next door. Yes, but sometimes I find myself over in the magic shop helping Mike with something or watering his plants, vegetable garden. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. What brings you over? Well, I was watering the plants to get them ready for the party when I noticed that your clock has stopped working. Oh, could you tell what was wrong? It looks like her wristwatch is broken. Her wristwatch? Your clock wears a wristwatch? Of course. How else could she tell the time? Oh, oh yeah. Sure. I'll show you. Say, clock, what time is it? See what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, before you go, I was going to do a magic trick. Would you <gasps> like to see it? Yeah! Oh, my gosh, yeah! Okay, okay, good. So, I've got some silks. I've got a blue silk and another blue silk. And I'm going to tie these together. Just like this. And can I have your hand? Yeah. Good. There we go. Put up nice and tight. I'm going to place these into your hand and close up your hand. Now I'm going to take this silk. It's a pretty silk. Look at all the colors. And I'm going to make that into a nice little ball in my hand here. Watch it real carefully. Okay. There we go. Just make it nice and tight in here. Watch real carefully. So I take the magic wand, and can you say the magic words for me? Abracadabra? Abracadabra. And look, it's gone. Do you know where it is? Daisy's been holding these two handkerchiefs. Take a look, look. It's tied Whoa. between the handkerchiefs. Wow. Oh, did you like that? Yeah, yeah thanks, Mike. Good. Oh, you're welcome. Well, well, I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, bye. bye. Gotta check that clock out. Yeah, it's broken. Oh, much better. Hi, Daisy. What are you making? I'm making a healthy snack. They're called peanut butter roll-ups. Peanut butter roll-ups? Wow, they look great. How do you make them? Well, you take a whole wheat tortilla and two tablespoons of peanut butter. Wow. And then you spread it on top of the tortilla, like this. Then you take a tablespoon of pure strawberry preserves and you smear it on top of the peanut butter. Wow. Then you roll up the tortilla and cut it in half. That looks good. And now you have peanut butter roll-ups. What a great healthy snack. They only have 55 calories and are high in fiber, protein, and vitamin E. Wow, thanks Daisy, let's eat. Salty, salty. Oh, you may not believe this, but a pirate lives inside this urn. Really, his name is Salty, and he has a pirate ship and a full crew. There's an ocean inside this urn. I'll show you. See, you can pour out some of the ocean, and it'll stop. But then anytime you want to, you can pour out more of the ocean. And even a little bit more. Salty? Salty? He usually comes out when I call him. I guess he's busy. We'll try that later. Ahoy, matey! Salty, where did you come from? Well, me mutter and me father. No, 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 I meant I was looking for you. I wish you wouldn't pour out to me ocean. Oh, I, I was just showing the boys and girls that you live in the urn. Oh, that's right. It's a special urn. 
Special urn? I call it me pirate urn. A pirate urn? What's a pirate urn? Oh, about 50 cents a day. <laughs> oh, I got some empty. You're so easy. Pirate urn. Uh, yes, okay. Well, are you coming to the party tonight? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I brought you this, uh, this roasted turkey for the festivities this evening. Oh, well, thank you. I, wait a moment. This is the leg. What happened to the rest of the bird? Well, I kind of got hungry on my way over here. Oh, salty. Well, uh, I've got to go. Oh, no, wait a moment. Aren't you staying for the party? Well, I'd like to, but, but you know I can't stay on land too long. Oh, yes. You see, boys and girls, some people get seasick when they go on a boat. Salty gets land sick if he stays on land too long. Well, and uh, I think it's starting already. Oh, 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 no, 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 wait a moment, don't panic. <laughs> well, I'm not going to panic. You're not going to panic? <laughs> no, I'm going to heave ho! Oh, oh, no, wait a moment, wait a moment. I, I have an idea, I have an idea. Wait, wait. Now, pretend that you're on your boat. Boat? Boat? <laughs> Haven't I taught you anything? It's a ship, a ship, real pirate sail ship. Okay, okay, so pretend that you're on your uh, b ship. That's better. Okay, um, and there are waves. Yeah. And they're going up and down. And up and down. Oh, that's good. Keep up going. More waves. More waves. Okay. Up and down. And up and down. Oh, say, that's good. I feel much better. I'm not land sick anymore. You're not land sick? Mm. Good, because I'm seasick. Oh. Professor Science? Hi, Joey. Hi, Jed. Hi, Elias. This is Professor Science. He comes to us from the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine to show us science experiments. What are you going to do today, Professor? Well, Joey, I thought I'd show you how to make a volcano. A volcano? Yeah, a volcano. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some hot water into this empty plastic um, container. And you want to make sure you do this either in a sink or in a pan like this, because volcanoes can get messy. So we're going to pour this hot water into our plastic, empty plastic bottle. And then next, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of baking soda. Baking soda is what your mom or dad uses to bake things with. So here's one tablespoon. And I use these funnels so we don't get, get the baking soda everywhere. Here's one tablespoon, and here's another tablespoon. Okay, and then what we need to do is we need to sort of mix the baking soda up inside the water, and I'm gonna stir it a little bit. Okay, and next, we're gonna add some red food coloring dye. That's the way we can see the, the volcano foam better. So we're gonna put in a few drops of red food coloring. And now I'm gonna add a big drop of dishwashing soap. Dishwashing stuff? Is this gonna be a clean volcano at least, huh? <laughs> well, actually, um, the dishwashing soap is to make the, uh, the foam that the volcano is gonna erupt with. Oh, okay. All right, so the last ingredient is some vinegar. Are you ready to see the volcano Erupt? Let it erupt, Professor. Okay, here we go. Wow! Oh. Wow! Look at that! <laughs> An erupting volcano! Wow! Do you know how that works? How, Professor? Well, what happens is the vinegar mixes with the baking soda and the dishwashing soap, and it produces a chemical reaction. And that chemical reaction produces a new substance called carbon dioxide gas. And that carbon dioxide gas mixes with the dishwashing soap, and it creates the foam that, that represents the volcanic uh, lava. Wow, that's a great experiment, Professor, and we could do this at home. You sure can. And remember, you want to do this experiment either in the sink or in a pan like this so you don't make a big mess. And remember, it looks like magic, but it's science. Yeah, thanks, Professor. Wow. Gather round, everyone. All you mates at home, get up off those chairs and couches. 
It's time for the exercise minute. You adults and parents, you join in too. Here we go. Now it's time to exercise. You should do it every day. Exercise is healthy and get your body into shape. Start by stretching your arms and legs to warm your muscles up. You bend down slowly and touch your toes and then you get back up. Now jump! Jump! Clap your hands at the top. Jumping Jack is your friend. And run! Run! It's too fun to stop. Like you're racing the wind. Jump! Jump! Run! Run! Jump! Jump! Run! Run! It's time for a quick trick. Can you take a piece of paper, fold it in half, cut off a strip, and make it whole again? Sure you can. I'll show you how after this. Today's quick trick is brought to you by the carrot. Carrots are good for you and are fun to eat. They're sweet and crunchy. Carrots are high in vitamin C and in vitamin A. That means that carrots are good for your eyes. Have you ever seen a rabbit with glasses? Carrots also contain vitamin B and niacin. Carrots strengthen your bones and keep you healthy. They also contain beta carotene and fiber. Put them all together and you have the carrot. So the next time you want a snack, eat a carrot. You'll love them like I do. Yeah. Now, here's the quick trick secret. Ask mom or dad for some old newspaper. Cut a strip of newspaper about an inch wide and about a foot long. And if you're not allowed to use scissors, ask an adult to help. Now take some rubber cement and place the rubber cement in the center of the strip and allow that to dry. Once that's dry, take some baby powder and sprinkle it over the rubber cement that keeps it from sticking. When all of that's dry, you're ready to perform. To perform, take the piece of paper so that the glued sides touch. Now, when you cut off a strip, and you open it up, the glue holds the paper together. That's the quick trick secret. Try that at home and have some fun. Say, clock, what time is it? Oh boy, it's almost time for the party. I know, I'm so excited. Say, Joey, what is all of this? Oh, I've been making some snacks for our friends. Oh, I see. Yes, I got uh, cake, yeah, and cotton candy, yeah, and hamburgers, yeah, and chips and dip. Well, Joey, that's very nice, and you know, it's not bad to eat a potato chip or a cookie occasionally, but I think we should be serving more healthy snacks to our friends. Uh, like what? Well, you know, for instance, let me show you something. Do you know how much salt is in these chips? No. This much. Well, that makes me thirsty just thinking about it. I know. And do you know how much sugar is in this pop? No. Watch. That much. Wow, how much? That's two tablespoons. That's a lot. It sure is. And do you know how much fat is in these chips and dip? No, but I have a feeling I'm going to find out. Yes, you see, this much. Yuck. How would you like to eat just that fat? No, thanks. Hi, Mike. Hi, Joey. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Hi, kids. What are you doing? I was just telling Joey about all the fat and sugar and salt that are in these foods. I sure don't want to eat all this fat and sugar, but what can we have that's still fun to eat? Give me 
a glass of juice instead of soda pop. Some celery with a little light cream cheese on top. Yogurt with fruit and nuts, it tastes so good to me. Raisins and apples too, they give me energy. That means we can still have fun food and it'll be healthy for us too. Wow. <laughs> what are you making, Daisy? Well, I'm making ladybug apples. Ladybugs? Oh, they look cute. You want me to eat bugs? <laughs> Joey, they look like ladybugs, right? Oh, yeah. How do you make those, Daisy? Well, I'll tell you how I make them. You take an already cored apple and you cut it in half. Then you take the half and a raisin, dip it in the peanut butter, and put it on top of the apple. You can do this several times, and this creates the spots on the ladybug. Oh, that's cute. Take one more. <laughs> okay. Then you take a pretzel stick, break it in half, and dip each end into the peanut butter. And then you stick it into the apple like this. Oh, I see. Yeah, and then you take another raisin, put on this one, and a raisin oh, on this one, and there you have it. They look great, only tastier. Just remember to wash it down with a cool glass of water. Oh, yeah. Would you like to see an illusion? Yeah! It's in the illusion room. I want to show you some doll clothes. I've got a doctor outfit. I'm going to put that into this bag. And I have a cowgirl outfit. Put that down into the bag as well. And I have an astronaut. Let's put that down in the bag. Now, can you come up and help me? That's good. I want you to reach into the bag and just pull out one of those outfits. Okay. Well, there's a hat from one. Let's see, oh, there we go. The doctor outfit, that's good, thank you. You can sit back down. Well, let's see if we can actually make a doctor. And what better place to make a doctor than a medical school? So let's build a medical school. Abracadabra? 
Abracadabra. Well, Joey, it's almost time for the party. I know, I'm so excited. What are you gonna put in your journal today? Well, today I learned that some of the foods we like to eat may not be the healthiest for us. Well, that's true. But there are healthy alternatives that are still fun to eat. That's true too. Yeah, and we had fun with Professor Science. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, do you know what's black and white and red all over? Black and white and red all over? Oh, a newspaper, that's right. Do you know what's black and white and red all over and has cement in it? Black and white and red all over and has cement in it? No, what, Joey? A newspaper. I just put the cement in to make the riddle harder. <laughs> oh, Joey, say goodbye. Bye, everyone. Thank you for being my friend. And remember, boys and girls, the real magic is in you. Bye, everybody. Bye, we'll see you later. Bye. Cement? This program is made possible in part by Alpha Natural Resources, Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare, and by West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, physicians insuring physicians.